Now, y'all know I don't do this often, right? I don't do this often. But if I come across something in my devotional time and in my Bible study time that is so juicy and delicious, I can hardly stand it. And then I get an intuitive hit guidance to share it with you. I believe I have an obligation to share it with you because it, this is just amazing. This is blessing me royally. So I'm just going to pass it on to you. Just a disclaimer. If you ain't a Christian, take a breath. If you're another belief system, take a breath. You're going to be all right. If you're an atheist and agnostic, I welcome you too. All is good. Let's everybody come. Let's everybody come in the pool together. I promise you're still going to get something out of it. Chill out. Good stuff here. I'm going to be reading out of Psalm 77, verse 16. This is my Bible. I come from the Mark Your Bible Up tribe, and I'm also an office supply addict, too. So I have post-its. I date things. I write things in the margin. That's how I believe a real, you know, that's how I like to study my Bible. And use my Bible. You do what you want to do. This is, I'm reading out of the Amplified because the Amplified for, you know, just layman's terms. Amplify just has a lot more words. And a brother likes to talk. So check this out. Psalm 77, verse 16. Backstory here. This is talking about when Moses and the children of Israel left Egypt. They were at the Red Sea. Pharaoh is like, you know, I don't like the fact that I have dead firstborn and you have all my money. So, you know, I'm just going to kill you and get all my stuff back. That's the context that the scripture is in. Verse 16. Amplified now. Psalm 77, verse 16. Listen, when the waters at the Red Sea and the Jordan saw you, O oh God, they were afraid. The deep shuddered also for all the water saw you. The clouds poured down water. The skies sent out a sound of rumbling thunder. Your arrows went forth in forked lightning. Your voice, the voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightnings illumined the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way in delivering your people was through the sea and your paths through the great waters. Yet your footsteps were not traceable, but were obliterated. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. What's that scripture talking about? This is saying to us that long before and way before the children of Israel got to the Red Sea, God had already walked the path for their deliverance. He had already preordained and predestined the way of deliverance for the people of Israel through the sea and his footsteps had already walked there before the children of Israel got there. That blessed me royally because whatever it is that you're facing, whatever obstacle you might be in the middle of right now, you ain't got to stress about it. God's already been there. God's already walked the path of your deliverance out of whatever situation you're in. You just got to take the step he's given you to take right now and watch him unfold for you what he's already planned, which is your deliverance.